Okay, we're hanging out. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's the 60th day of the 60 day challenge at Hotspot Yoga in Crestwood, Kentucky. And I've got three gals that have been working really hard during the challenge. Jenny Steinbrenner gave us a little bit of what she was feeling 30 days in. But we haven't talked to uh, Kelly and we haven't talked to Carrie. They both have their own stories and we're going to talk to all of them just a little bit today. I just finished the class and I'm whooped and I feel, I feel great. It always challenges me. I've been doing it for 10 years. And I've been, well, I've been teaching for 10 years. I've been doing nothing but Bikram for 11 years. And I, I personally always find it challenging. And I always personally find it sometimes difficult to do, but I want that. I need that personally in my life. You guys have been doing the yoga for different amounts of time. And I think that's very important for people to know. Carrie, let's talk to you for just a second. How many um, years, or you haven't even been doing the yoga for a year yet. How no. long have you been doing Bikram yoga? Probably about... I've done it off and on for about a year. About but, a year. But I got back into it about probably 80 days ago. 80 days um, ago. What days the 60 days prompted ago. you? What was your theory behind just taking on the 60-day challenge? Just had no energy. I was tired of not having energy and knew that I needed to do something to, to kick so, up the energy and to get healthier. Have you done other types of exercise? No, I was pretty lazy. <laughs> okay, so you started doing the yoga, you, you, you were acclimated to the Bikram experience, but yeah. you hadn't been doing it, let's say, more than three times a week. What right. was your normal... Your norm Probably two to three times a week in the beginning. Okay, so when you the, took on that challenge, how many times a week were you able to come? Probably about five to six. That's weeks. amazing. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah. What were some of the changes that you've noted? A when lot you, more energy. More energy. Yeah, a lot okay. more energy. and just felt better all around and my back didn't hurt as much at work and it was just easier to get through the day. So it's I love great. that. Yeah. Do you mind telling me how old you are? Oh yeah, uh, if I can think of how old I am. 35. 35 yeah. years of age. You guys are all about the same, in, in within yeah. the same age frame and I think that's really great to know. We've got people in their She's 40s, so their 50s, late. their 60s. Then we've got Hi. Jenny, the old lady in the back. <laughs> Jenny, how old are you? you got two four-year-old twins. How old are you? Guys? I'm 38. 38. So you're in your 30s as well and I know that during the 30-day challenge you were feeling better you were feeling like some things were a little harder and some things were a little easier mm -hmm. what were you noticing i know the 60 day challenge is a whole different bobcat when you come every day for 60 days yes. it's more of a mental uh challenge yeah i got to be real oh, mental gosh. about 45 days i kind of was uh, finding myself wanting to come but also dreading out trying to carve out that time during Absolutely. the day that's difficult to do um I'm so glad that I made it and um, definitely wasn't going to give up, but um, I wanted to have more energy as well, and I do. I sleep a lot better at night, um, and I feel I'm a little sore in some places, but... Perfectly normal. You've been doing Bikram <laughs> Yoga 90 yeah. minutes a day every day yeah. for 60 days. Yeah. Sure. So, but um, I'm going to go back to my normal schedule of three to four times a week. Um, Beautiful. Uh, I look forward to continuing my practice because there are lots of areas for improvement. I think that's great. I, I, every year I seem to change, and as I get older, some things actually get better, and that, that's, that's <laughs> nice for me to know. That's and it keeps me going. Um, one thing about Kelly, Kelly's been doing the yoga for about five years, and she's got how many kids, Kelly? I have three. You have three kids, and you have a full-time job, don't you? I do. And um, you were able to carve out time to come to Hotspot Yoga every day for 60 days. And I think that's a, that's a big fat deal. And yeah. I think it's really uh, a tribute to yourself. And, and it's, it was a challenge to you mentally. Right, um, you had been doing the yoga pretty regularly for five years. But yeah. doing it every day is different. And what, what did you notice was it's, it's the biggest challenge? Having a full time job. I mean, when I did it, when I first started and I stayed home with my kids every day, um, it was seemed easier to come out because I went every day. You bet. But having a full-time job and then, you know, dealing, juggling the kids and stuff like that and then um, coming here every day. You know what hard. I think is neat is that you guys were able to find the time. And yeah. so many people tell me, well, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. It's two hours out of my day. Well, you're getting it all done. Yeah. You're getting That's five good. points of fitness, cardio, core, fat burning, the whole, and anybody can do it. You don't have to be a freaking rock star athlete to come in here and start it. And then once you get going, things change. Your body change. You become athletes, don't you? Yeah. I see you guys as athletes, and I think that's really, really exceptional. And I appreciate you giving some time to Hotspot to give us some of your experience. And I hope that we'll get some more of your experience at the Hotspot Yoga Party. <laughs> Tribute to you guys. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.